In the heart of Hollywood, a symbol of glamour and fame hides a chilling tale. Our story begins with the actress Peg Entwistle, a promising talent in the Roaring Twenties. Her career was a roller coaster of highs and lows as she grappled with the fickle nature of fame. Yet it was not her career that would immortalise her in Hollywood history, but her tragic and mysterious end. On a fateful night, she allegedly leaped to her death from the top of the Hollywood sign. The mystery deepens as there were no witnesses to this tragic event, no suicide note left behind. Adding to the enigma, her shoes were discovered, placed neatly at the base of the Hollywood sign. This first Hollywood mystery leaves us with a chilling question. What really happened to Peg Entwistle at the Hollywood sign? From the glamour of the Hollywood sign, we move to a gruesome Hollywood crime that has baffled investigators for decades. In the heart of the golden era of Hollywood, a chilling crime took place that shook the glitz and glamour to its core. The year was 1947, and the victim was a young, aspiring actress named Elizabeth Short. Her name might not ring a bell, but her moniker, the Black Dahlia, is one that has been etched into the annals of Hollywood's dark history. Elizabeth Short moved to Los Angeles with dreams of stardom, dreams that were brutally cut short. On a chilly morning in January, her lifeless body was discovered in a vacant lot in the Limat Park neighborhood of Los Angeles. What made the crime particularly gruesome was the state in which her body was found. Elizabeth had been mutilated, her body severed at the waist, drained of blood, and posed in a chilling tableau that would haunt the city for decades to come. The Black Dahlia murder was not just a crime, it was a spectacle. The media pounced on the story, turning the tragic death of an aspiring actress into a sensational tale of mystery and horror. Newspapers splashed lurid details across their front pages, staging a macabre theatre that held the nation in its grip. The Black Dahlia became a symbol, a morbid icon of the shadowy side of Hollywood, where dreams can turn into nightmares. The investigation into the Black Dahlia murder was extensive, involving countless interviews and leading detectives down numerous paths. Yet the identity of her killer remained elusive. Over the years, many theories have been proposed and several suspects have been considered. Some pointed fingers at known criminals of the time, others at powerful figures in the Hollywood scene. There were even theories suggesting that the murderer was a woman, a concept that added an extra layer of intrigue to the already convoluted case. Despite the plethora of theories and suspects, the Black Dahlia case remains unsolved. The trail has grown cold, the leads have dried up, and the media frenzy has long since faded. Yet the memory of the Black Dahlia lingers. Her story is a chilling reminder of the darkness that can lurk beneath the surface of the glimmering Hollywood dream. The Black Dahlia case is more than just an unsolved crime. It's a haunting tale that has become a part of Hollywood's lore. It's a story that continues to fascinate, to horrify and to baffle. It's a grim riddle that, to this day, remains unanswered. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of classic Hollywood, the Black Dahlia stands as a stark reminder of the shadows that can be cast by the bright lights of fame. The Black Dahlia case remains one of Hollywood's most gruesome and baffling mysteries. Our next Hollywood mystery revolves around a beautiful actress who vanished without a trace. Jean Spangler, a promising starlet in the making, had a career that was on the ascent in the 40s. She was a radiant presence on the Hollywood scene, known for her beauty and vivacious charm. Small parts in films began to accumulate and it seemed like her big break was just around the corner. But in October of 1949, she vanished leaving behind a chilling mystery that has confounded investigators and enthusiasts alike for decades. On the day of her disappearance, Jean left her home, ostensibly for a night shoot at a nearby studio. When she didn't return, alarm bells started to ring and a frantic search was launched. Her purse was discovered near Griffith Park, its contents scattered. Among them was a cryptic note, ending abruptly with the words, Can't wait any longer. Going to see Dr. Scott. It will work best this way while Mother is away. The note sparked numerous theories. Was Dr. Scott a real person? Was he a figment of Jean's imagination? Or was he a code name for someone in the underworld? Despite extensive investigations, no one named Dr. Scott was ever linked to Jean. Theories about her disappearance are plentiful. Some suggest she may have fallen prey to the dark underbelly of Hollywood, while others believe she might have been trying to escape something or someone. Her ex-husband, Dexter Benner, was initially a suspect, but was quickly cleared. The mob connection, 
a theory fueled by her role in a film about the Mafia, also came up dry. Yet another theory speculates that she had an illegal abortion and died as a result, a theory supported by the cryptic note. In the end, the truth about Jean Spangler's disappearance remains elusive. Despite countless investigations and theories, her fate remains a mystery. The beautiful actress who was set to make her mark in Hollywood vanished into thin air, leaving behind a tantalizing mystery that continues to baffle to this day. Jean Spangler's disappearance remains one of Hollywood's most haunting unsolved cases. Even the most iconic of Hollywood stars are not immune to mystery and controversy. With her platinum blonde hair, seductive voice and magnetic charm, Marilyn Monroe was an undeniable force in Hollywood. She was a symbol of beauty and sensuality, captivating audiences worldwide. However, beneath the glamour and the spotlight, there lay a mystery that has intrigued and baffled us for decades, the sudden and tragic demise of this legendary starlet. On August 5, 1962, the world woke up to the shocking news of Monroe's death. She was found lifeless in her Los Angeles home, with an empty bottle of sleeping pills by her side. The official cause of death was ruled as a probable suicide. But was it really? Or was there a more sinister plot behind the demise of Hollywood's brightest star? The circumstances surrounding her death were, indeed, peculiar. No suicide note was found and Monroe was in high spirits planning for future film roles and even a new house. The autopsy report showed a high dosage of drugs in her system, yet there were no traces of pills in her stomach. These inconsistencies have fueled numerous theories, casting a shadow of doubt over the official narrative. One of the most talked about theories involves the Kennedy brothers. Rumours of Monroe's affairs with both John and Robert Kennedy were rife, and many believe that she was silenced to prevent her from revealing politically damaging information. While these claims lack concrete evidence, they persist, weaving a tangled web of intrigue and speculation. Another theory points to Monroe's ties with the Mafia. Her association with Frank Sinatra, a known friend of mobsters, and her alleged involvement with Sam Giancana, a notorious mob boss, led some to believe that the Mafia had a hand in her death. But, like the Kennedy theory, this too remains unproven. Then, there's the conspiracy theory that Monroe was murdered by the CIA or the FBI to protect national security. Monroe was known to keep a diary, and some claim it contained classified information she had learned from her relationships with influential figures. Could her death have been a cover-up to prevent these secrets from coming to light? While these theories offer tantalizing possibilities, they lack definitive proof. The truth about Marilyn Monroe's death remains shrouded in mystery, leaving us with more questions than answers. Was it a tragic suicide as officially reported, or a sinister plot masked by the glitz and glamour of Hollywood? Marilyn Monroe's death continues to be a topic of debate and speculation, adding a layer of mystery to her iconic image. To this day, her enigmatic smile and haunting eyes continue to captivate us as we wonder about the secrets that died with her. The mystery of Marilyn Monroe serves as a stark reminder that even the brightest stars in Hollywood are not immune to tragedy and controversy. Our final Hollywood mystery involves a beloved actress and a tragic end. Natalie Wood was a radiant star of the silver screen, captivating audiences with her performances in classics like Rebel Without a Cause and West Side Story. But her life was cut short in a tragic and mysterious manner that has left fans and investigators puzzled for decades. On the night of November 29, 1981, Wood was aboard a yacht named Splendor with her husband Robert Wagner, actor Christopher Walken, and the ship's captain, Dennis Davin. They were off the coast of Southern California's Catalina Island. Sometime during the night, Wood went missing. The following morning, her lifeless body was found floating in the water a mile away from the yacht. She was only 43 years old. The circumstances of her death were shrouded in mystery. How did she end up in the water? Was it an accidental drowning, as the initial investigation concluded? Or was there more to the story? Questions arose about the events on the yacht that night. Some reports suggested there had been tension between Wagner and Walken. The ship's captain, Dennis Davin, years later, would make startling claims that he had lied during the initial investigation and that a fight had occurred on the boat. Despite the questions and doubts, the case was closed. But the story didn't end there. Nearly three decades later, in 2011, 
the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department announced that they were reopening the investigation into Natalie Wood's death. The cause of death on her certificate was changed from accidental drowning to drowning and other undetermined factors. The case was thrust back into the limelight, but despite the renewed interest and investigation, no definitive answers have been found. The mystery of Natalie Wood's death has endured, fueling countless theories and speculation. Some believe it was a tragic accident, while others suspect foul play. The people she was with that night have been under scrutiny, especially her husband, Robert Wagner, yet he has always maintained his innocence and there is no conclusive evidence to implicate him or anyone else. Natalie Wood's story is a haunting tale of a Hollywood star whose life was tragically cut short under mysterious circumstances. Her death serves as a chilling reminder of the darker side of the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. The truth about what happened that fateful night on The Splendor may never be known. The only certainty is the tragic loss of a talented actress at the peak of her career. The mystery of Natalie Wood's death remains unsolved, a chilling reminder of the dark side of Hollywood. These chilling Hollywood mysteries serve as stark reminders that fame and fortune often come with a dark side. In the golden age of Hollywood, the luminous glow of the silver screen cast long, ominous shadows. Shadows that concealed secrets, mysteries and tragedies. We have journeyed through these shadows, delving deep into the heart of five of Hollywood's most haunting unsolved cases. We began with the Hollywood sign mystery, a tale of despair and desperation that still clings to the famous landmark like a ghostly apparition. Then, we plunged into the abyss of the Black Dahlia case, a story so macabre and perplexing it haunts the annals of crime history, its riddle still unsolved. We then turned our attention to the disappearance of Jean Spangler, a case as mysterious as the woman herself. Her vanishing act has left a void filled with questions and speculation, but no definitive answers. The mystery of Marilyn Monroe followed, a saga of fame and vulnerability, where whispers of conspiracy theories still echo, adding layers of intrigue to an already enigmatic life and death. Finally, we navigated the murky waters of Natalie Wood's mystery, a case that ebbs and flows with the tide of public opinion, but remains shrouded in uncertainty. Each of these cases has left an indelible mark on Hollywood and popular culture. They have been immortalized in books, films and songs, their chilling tales echoing through the decades. They serve as stark reminders of the fragility of life, the elusive nature of truth, and the darkness that can lurk beneath the glittering surface of stardom. As we pull the curtain on these Hollywood mysteries, we are left with more questions than answers, a testament to the enduring allure and mystery of Tinseltown.